So we've almost finished learning all the different types of factoring techniques that we're going to use to be able to break down polynomials and analyze them and look a little, a little deeper, right? Try to, you know, graph them and, you know, maybe start using certain types of functions in our, you know, in our models of whatever we're trying to look at, right? Now, we've talked about, um, you know, prime factorization, factoring prime numbers, GCF, simple trinomial factoring, complex trinomial factoring, difference of squares, and we just finished talking about uh, quadratic formula, right? And inside the quadratic formula, when we're taking a look at that, we also talked about um, substitution, which helps us break things down or uh, rephrase things that we can recognize them as quadratic so we can use the quadratic formula or use substitution to express terms in any which way we want uh, so, or, or use uh, substitution to express things in a way which will help us to analyze them and break them down right now the last type of factoring that we're going to talk about is called synthetic division okay now uh, before we get into talking about synthetic division, we're going to have to talk about long division, okay? Long division we've already sort of introduced in one video in, um, in series one, I think it's video number eight or something, where we talked about multiplication and long division. And we just went through a couple of examples of how, to, how, you, how you divide things out uh, using long division, okay? Now I know everybody hates long division and I'm going to try to make the session as, as quick as possible but there, there's a saying in, in, in life where, where, where there's something, something that you learn uh, when you're living your life and, 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 the, and the older you get the, the more you get to appreciate this is, uh, or understand what the, what the phrase really means. Is they, they say that you never you, you get to appreciate the good times a lot more when you've gone through some bad times right and long division by all accounts from everything that I've heard from my students most of my students anyway there are some people that actually like long division but most of my students uh, going through the long division it's some serious bad times okay now what I'm going to do is try to reduce the amount of bad times that we're gonna have right now you <laughs> learning long division uh, at, condense that this lesson uh, in as short of a period as possible while covering all the different information because even though long division is, is is a real pain for some people I don't you know for me it's just become routine right some people do actually like it but what we're going to do is try to uh, you know learn just go through the original long uh, the long division was just numbers and then see how that relates to polynomial division uh, dividing doing long division with polynomials and one thing we do need to go one reason we do need to go into long division is because it, it breaks it down for us in a way where we can actually visually see what's going on so long division even though it's a pain it does have some uses in just laying out the problems for us for us to be able to recognize what is really happening okay so we're, good. we're just going to start with uh, just dividing out uh, just numbers, just integers right now. And that way we're going to get the layout of what long division looks like. And we'll see that that's exactly, you know, being mirrored when you're dividing polynomials. But long division for polynomials, it mirrors exactly the same thing as long divisions with numbers, right? And from there, we can get some of the terminology we need. And then we're going to go into synthetic division. And you're going to see how sweet synthetic division is, right? And you'll, you, you know, going through this right now is going to make you appreciate synthetic division a lot more. And um, hopefully that'll help you to become really good at it because you don't want to do long division every time there will be times where we're gonna to have to do long division that's a get that's a given that's guaranteed but synthetic division is what we're gonna go for most of the time okay